Yeah. I, I talk about this before. Like certain teams, they over prioritize. <laughs> you have three cores. Yeah. You don't want to just guard one guy. Like yep. RTZ and Universe, they are both as equally important to the team. Sure. You do not want to neglect them if All you right. can. Let's get into uh, draft number two. See whether VGJ Thunder can pull things back level. They did it before in the earlier part of this group, of course, yesterday. Uh, which then led on to that incredible 82-minute game that we've had, the longest game that we've had so far at the PGL Open. And Book but Evil Genius is one game away from the semi-finals. Oh, they banned out the Earth Spirit this time. What was the last ban? Uh, last game they banned Night Stalker Plus. What was the other one? Uh, I do have it on screen. Uh, the Wisp. So they banned... <laughs> uh, VGJ banned the Wisp, sorry, yeah. yeah uh, well, I mean EG. They banned out... What did they ban? The Night Stalker. The second ban. Oh, okay. Five so they are removing the Earth remain. Spirit that VGJ has been prioritizing the, <laughs> the whole day. And even yesterday. Most of their games, they're just putting the guy... Uh, the, the opposition for an Earth Spirit. Turn to pick. And VGJ goes back for the same two bans. The Banno and the Io. Shakiro, Lich, um, there's one game that they opened with Spirit Breaker, there's the Punk. Ten but I still think remaining. that the main theme here is the lane dominance and getting Sumail a good matchup. You have to pick good lanes against BGJ. Yep, a little bit tougher. They've got uh, second to last pick, of course, having taken first pick yeah, this but time they can, they can snatch up like something like a Lich, the Punk, the strong yep. laners right yep. now. They have the choice of doing that here. I think Shaker might be more important though. I think you want a four or five, because you can get either Lich or Jakiro in the second pick, right? So you prefer getting a better so, four. But then VGJ have prioritized Jakiro as well. Yeah, if you get Shaker, you, you, they're not going to pick Jakiro and Lich, no. right? So if you get either one You of get those, either yeah. one anyway. Yes. So yeah, that, you, that is actually a good You might as well just yeah, take yeah. a way better four. Because if they don't get the Shaker, they'll have to go for something like a Kunkka. They could go for Clock too. Mm. Yeah, or Kunkka, the, the Kunkka comes back. Or yeah. Tusk. Yeah. Yeah, Which are not as great as the Shaker. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a really good point here. Five seconds remaining. So they're gonna be leaving VGJ to decide: yeah. do we go for the Lich or do we go for the Jakiro? Like each team is gonna get one. Or do they go for the Clockwork, the Mineski approach? They see the Earth Shaker, they pick Clockwork, yeah. they yeah. counter the clock, uh, the Earth Shaker. And they're one, of the, they're one of the few teams uh, VGJ who do prioritize a core in the first pick, first two picks anyway. Well, that. That's Which hasn't necessarily worked, has it? Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. I think they were playing against Navi earlier, who didn't really find a good solution to the anti mate. But when you're up against a more experienced team like EG, I think that they are, they 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 have SVG too, yep. who will certainly help in finding solutions to these quote unquote unstoppable mm. cores. Looks nice and flexible. <sighs> Doesn't really tell EG too much. But does it's it? really weak at the start of the game, though. Ten seconds mm. remaining. But I guess. Uh, a lot of teams, when they go up against EG, against Sumail in particular, they like the Knicks because it's, yeah. it's going to limit. It. it removes him, doesn't it, in terms of uh, his a hero few heroes. Yeah, yeah, his hero pool. It limits his hero pool. And that actually makes more sense right now because they wanted the Pugna, and Knicks is a really good matchup against Pugna. They want to deny EG that. Yeah. They might still get the, uh, the Lich, although can't imagine that Ten EG will let that through. Remaining. Yeah. Another mm. set of bands, would they? Possibly. It depends what Five they want here. The remaining. Lich or the Jakiro. Oh, they want something else. Yep. Probably Jakiro. I was going to say, this, prefer Jakiro. Jakiro has been their most popular second pick in this Well, usually because uh, Lich is banned, well. though. Yeah, yeah <laughs> so, true. I think Lich Frost Armor loses a lot of value when you're versus a Pugna, too. Yeah, but it's, it's like the kind of game that you want to play, though. You are going to win your lane. I, I actually value that over like the Frost Armor not being useful against the Pugna. I think winning a lanes is very, very important right now. Mm -hmm. And having that advantage... Like say the Lich goes to the Pugna Radiant lane, you do in the Pugna's lane, and you saw what happened in, in one of the games where Pugna had a really difficult time. He was very, very hard pressed in the game, but they still went for the Jakiro. Yeah. I guess probably one of the other main reasons that we didn't touch ab about Jakiro is it's a flexi pick for EG. EG mm -hmm. does run him on the off lane. That's why it, it gives them added and value. And they run it mid. Yeah, it gives them a lot of added value having this hero in the yep. opening. Lone Joe being banned out. A very successful hero that EG has run, like twice in a, uh, two games already. I've seen yep. this hero being really good on the EG side. It allows them to have this kind of carry that's really self-sufficient, and he sieges Ten towers. It's like Venno, except worse. Mm, I mean, he's like, I, in terms of being able to sit in the lane and just be annoying and not die. You think he's more annoying than Venno? 
Well, yeah. Savage Roar makes him good. I, I think game. he's better in the sieging department, but Venom is better in the team fight department because because of the ultimate, the poison number. Yeah, but the best is just better. Fair enough. But who's I, harder I, to kill? I, I, I get what you mean. They both fulfill the same role in the game. They sit yeah. in a lane and they pressure. Yeah. yeah, they're both bloody annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but one is not green. <laughs> well, he's got sort of green bits in him, I mean. He's, but he's borderline green green hero, isn't he? He's not quite as green as Pugnum, but he is green. Yep. Um, so with the Bloodseeker ban out here, do you think it's possible that EG switch things around here and they go for the AM against the yes, Pugna? Yes, definitely. Because it's also a hero that RTZ is really good at. Good matchup, too, versus both mm -hmm. of these. They take out the Prophet. I guess just for the lane. Because Prophet's really good in the lane, and uh, maybe they're worried about Prophet Jakiro forming a very strong pushing lineup. Taking all their towers early and snowballing. I guess you don't care about the AM this time. Mm -hmm. They ban out the bat. I mean, they can pick the AM. We yeah. were talking about v yeah. EG yeah, yeah, yeah. actually getting yeah. the AM on their side this would be, time. It would be nice to see RTZ play yeah, the AM. Because they have the fourth pick here. So. Yep. A 4th pick AM could be very problematic for VCJ if they don't have a correct lineup against him. Unless they decide to pick it here. They have been known to do. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. They have first phase the AM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did. But the thing is, like... They just get monkey kicked no, again, the, then. The thing is, like, yeah, that's one point. Mm. And the other thing is, like, AM against Earthshaker. AM doesn't want to fight. We've talked about this. AM doesn't want to fight heroes that can lock him down for a long period of time. Yeah. Because that gives you opportunity to kill the AM. You want a game where the enemy doesn't have too much lockdown to, to kill you, so you feel like it's very easy for you to speed push and pressure the map. I mean, Vigi could take Monkey King here if they wanted. A bit early, though. Yeah, um, but, but it also puts... But Bat Rider's ban... Puts the AM on the back burner for EG then Jeez. as well, doesn't it? Yeah, but if they do Monkey King, uh, I would actually think of uh, putting the Jakiro off lane to lane against yeah. the Monkey. Oh, okay, that's the... I've talked about this before with the Shaker Jakiro. It's going to be a very good Rubik game because of these two heroes. And VCJ are going to switch things up. They go for the Rubik. A lot of good spells to steal mm. here. Ten seconds very, very remaining. annoying. The Nowfield could help as well against those two. Five seconds remaining. But the laning phase would be not as strong because Rubik and Nyx are generally... It's really weak. Yeah, they don't do a lot of damage. They have some stuns. Not very good at trading because they are low. the Rubik has very low armor, doesn't have a lot of damage. Maybe EG can actually take advantage of that because we've seen them actually like to do ag aggro try when the enemy has actually really weak support duo. They would actually take advantage of it, go try lane, pressure them, give Uni a good 1v1 matchup and just try to win all the lanes at once. So this is again another really strong mm -hmm. laner. So Jakir, okay, they're going to go try lane. Jakir yeah. is their position 3. They sense weakness right now in the draft of uh, Vichy. It's very likely that EG is going to go aggro try here. They're so strong at level 1, Bane, Jakiro, those yeah. two are so tanky. Time to sack, dude. Five Get out of that lane. Yep. You're not winning that one. So they're gonna have to, what, pick some Weaver, some good laners? Uh, some, or some yeah, good. Weaver's not bad. Mm, they're gonna need to pick like heroes that are able to absorb the pressure, because EG is gonna put a lot of pressure on, uh, well, on too, their tri, tri lane. Too bad they banned two of the good ones, Veno, Veno Lone Druid. EG's turn but Pugna's gonna get like a, some 1v1 lane. Oh, they go Necro. But Necro is not as good as absorbing pressure. Though. It might mm. be their mid hero. Actually, it might be their mid hero. Very, uh, very likely. Yeah. I, I, yeah don't really like, a lot. I don't really like sacking the Necro though. Let's say if they put Necro Ten safe thing and EG remaining. comes with the three heroes, Necro can't farm. They can't really help him and the Nyx is gonna roam and Necro gets sacked. I'm usually not a fan of uh, Necro getting sacked. Wait, what? What? So that's a. What is this now? I think oh. that's the RTZ hero, right? RTZ plays. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. So what's the lane? So it's gonna be, if they go aggro try, uh, it might actually not be an aggro try. It might be just two one two, like Jakiro or Shaker, yeah. and Bane research bottom, and Bane helps research a little bit, one two minutes, and then he TPs to help the other lane after that. And don't forget, Samal does play Jakiro mid. <laughs> yes. I'm not Didn't forgetting. necessarily work very well the other day, but I'm, I'm just putting it out there as well. No, yeah, no, I'm not forgetting. Just, just in case, but it does look more like a uni Jakiro this time, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, it looks like uni is going to play Jakiro. It's going to be a safe lane message. Yeah. And uh, Sumail probably going to play some hero that can maybe bite Diffusal against the uh, Necro. 
I like Sniper again. Sniper? Yeah. I don't think they can get to the Sniper at all. They're very good frontline for the Sniper. Yeah, and they can kill the Pugna Ward pretty easily. Like, Necrophos can't get to him. He's not, like, a good, great Reaper target. They got Puck or Marana in here. Marana's banned. Oh, it is? Puck, I think they would like in the right-click department. But as you mentioned, the Diffusal Blade Carrier is pretty nice. But there's not really any mid-Diffusal Carriers. Phantom PL, Lancer? Yeah, PL and Marana are pretty much the only two. Mm. Do you like Phantom Lancer against their heroes? Or you think it's I think it's so-so, but you don't know what the mid-matchup is going to be, right? So I think you want... You, like you, a, so you don't think Necro's going to go mid? I... You don't think so. You, hey, think, you, you, you think you could here's, swap? Yeah. Here's a wild thing for you. <laughs> How about Samal picks up an AM? That's not. That's pretty reasonable. I could see that happening too. Am I like decently versus? Because that would have been. They, I think VGJ look at that and they're sold now. They've figured that. They've done what we've uh, done. They've gone. Ah, okay, it's that, 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 and that. But the AM um, won't even come into their mind right now. I would now. actually prefer him to be on an alchemist. To be up. To be fair. Would you? Than, a, than an AM. Alchemist would also crush. Yeah, because mm. Alchemist would mean that their lineup would be faster. AM farms. That's why they're taking so long for this pick, because there's just so many they can pick from. There's a lot of good ones, yeah. <laughs> they've got quite a lot of choices. And which way are they going? Oh. They're going with a drow! So Sumel. Wait, so Sumel could Sumel be a shaker. Huh? He could be shaker. Really? So the support uh, of Jack Hero and Bane? Plus? Could be. What? Yeah. No. Yeah, could be. No, I, I think it's mid visage, carry okay. draw, and off lane Jakiro. Shaker. Yeah, off lane Jakiro. So I think okay. off lane Jakiro. Okay, that makes sense. That makes more sense. They have a draw lineup. They're gonna use three range cores. Yeah. Okay. Well, so they're probably not gonna do aggro because it's a draw. Yeah. Mo at most, I think two one two. What a great draft. Dang, we haven't seen draw in a long time. No. It's a good draw game though. It's fast paced. Uh, they can't get gonna, the draw. No, the the thing is, they're yeah, gonna, gonna win the lane. Right? Draw is gonna give them damage to win well, the lane. There's the answer for a little bit of it. Yeah, anyway. To absorb the pressure, yep. the weaver is gonna be there. But all right, let's just see where they go. Uh, no. So Samael is gonna go visage. Yeah. yeah. The draw is gonna crush. Crits on the shaker. Universe okay. is bane. Yeah, universe, universe is bane. Is okay. Bane. And and Artis is gone draw. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> okay. He, he was. I kept a discussing bane. in that one. He, he was playing a bane in a pub just now. I was, <laughs> was watching. He? The, yeah, I was okay. watching the game. So I still kind of like the draw. I, I like the draw last pick. They yeah. have very strong lanes. They're gonna win. I think they're gonna win three of their lanes. Um. Okay, maybe two. Three is a bit too far. Fetched. I like the fact I'm getting <laughs> lane predictions now as well as the actual matchup predictions. Brilliant. Extra yeah. stuff from from Winter. You get top Thank marks you. from the teacher today. Thank uh, you. But Ben, which way are you going? I'm totally down with the draw. Yeah, because you're both on the EG I think you can train here. Well, the game's going to be fast. When, when you see them pick Drow, it gonna it's be usually in a really good situation. Even though Drow's not popular right now, like, sure. they, it's, I think it completely caught them off guard. And mm. they're not going to be able to handle the lanes or the early tower pushing at all. Mm. And they don't have that great high ground defense. It's Very, pretty weak. Not much, like wave, Pugna, not much wave clear that can defend. So they're going to be in trouble. Yeah. Definitely trouble. And pre-30. Okay. Let's say that. All right. Okay. Well, we're getting plenty of predictions this time around. Lanes, time it's going to end. <laughs> and all of it's on EG. <laughs> what can possibly go wrong? Let's find out as we head into game number two. What could possibly go wrong? You got your Drow Ranger. You've been asking I for did. it the whole hey, tournament. You, you know what? Was I? No, I wasn't. Every, every I other wasn't. game that we've been sitting but next you, to you, you've you been just, like, Drow Ranger. The second Drow I Ranger. sit there, I'm like, there's three range heroes. A fourth <laughs> could make this work. And then I just start doing the the addition, right? Now, how much bonus damage are you getting from Drow Ranger now? Let's check back again in two minutes' time. It's now increased by 30 damage for everybody across the board. <laughs> it's just continuously moving forward. I don't even want to hear your item suggestion because I already know what it is, too. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. I'm just kidding, dude. Do, do, do you do you want to have a gander of, of what no, I'm thinking? No, Toby. All right. So looking at the game, you know, we've got the universe Bane. In. Yeah. You know, it's standard. Very, very standard. I hear, according to your brain. Uh he's been. He was playing it a couple of times. Saw it on the Dota TV. Some universe Bane winning some games. So I've been liking the hero a lot. So he he's learned from Martizi's mistakes that happened before Frankfurt. Don't stream out your game so not everybody knows straight away. Mm-hmm. But uh, speaking of Artisi, he's heading down to the bottom line. So you got you got an offlane Drow Ranger. I always get very cringy about this type of stuff. Uh, Fuel will take the Chikura to offlane. Samael's going to be taking the Visage to mid. Yep. Crit roaming ES and then Bane safe lane for Universe. But the dream, safe lane Bane, guys. Coming to your pops. <laughs> no, they're trying to dodge lanes. They're trying to get better matchups. They don't want the... Uh, 
the drought just to get punished by some like aggro trilane, which is like some sort of what's Rubik. coming. Like Sila, Sila as well as Io are heading to the north. Yeah. It leaves our uh, Kama for the mid, and then it's Pugna, safe lane Yang with Fade roaming Nyx Assassin. He's got his he's got his boots in his backpack to the block at the very beginning. Uh, I kind of want to like while we're at the very start before anyone starts killing each other. I think we have a very very close look at the Dro Ranger, uh, primarily because of the bow. Yeah, he's got a. That I think has. that bow doesn't exist anymore, right? You can't get it. It's like the Monarch bow. He changed the name, of course, but <laughs> the Arizona iced out bow of yeah. Dro Ranger. That was good timing. <laughs> that was good timing for a Jakiro time. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, but Dro so, Ranger to the off lane. So good, good luck here down down here, Yang. But yep. should be able to farm quite well on this. They're just trying to avoid, like I said, the the Rubik being able to pick up the Drow and just like throw him anywhere. But Universe in this matchup, he's gonna be fine. It's a bane. The, he sure he won't farm, but it's pretty tough to kill him when he's got that Fairy Fire Brain Sap spam with its low mana cost and that damage. As long as they don't overwhelm him with Creep Waves or a third hero, mm -hmm. she should be okay. He won't farm though. And it's like any aggressive damage that Sila has. Like Sila's already down. To 280, he's munching on tangos to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you get like level two over on Bane. I, I don't know. Like, is, is it just nightmare? Like, is that actually the way to run this lane, or is it better to go in feeble fissure? Nice on the mid. Real trouble for Kama. Is there enough follow up damage? There is. Meanwhile, up on top lane, Universe with a brain sap. He's going after Silent. He's almost killing Kuchi both of away. Them. Yeah, he's he's tanking that. So we used to. We've, see, we've seen it. Bless you, Toby. Jeez, uh, we've I'm seen the. Sorry, I muted my mic, and it probably came through <laughs> I think yours. It came through anyway. We saw <laughs> off lane Bane. I think Zai played it a couple of times on Secret uh, from time and time again. But this time, yeah, safe lane. He's just with that or with that draw aura plus. Well, this is a good range from Fade until healing. he misses the stun. Life is hard. <laughs> and yeah, universe is, is solo killing top again. Like Siler is at 80 HP. Dude, he, he actually almost killed the Rubik, and Siler had to wake him up in order to save him. So that was what the situation that was happening there. Universe doing a great job in that top lane. He's actually farming, and he's pressuring both heroes, which mm -hmm. is pretty absurd. This is actually a nightmare for our poor Observer, who's having to jump in to replace our Poison Swedes. Uh, but like, he, like, you can see the rotations from Crit. Probably a good thing to look at when he finds a regeneration rune on the Bot River, too. Uh, some hail. Like... He's been going hammer and tongs with Kama, but it's the top lane where Bane can get that burst kill. It's the bottom lane where Fear just hits a dual breath and the tick comes fast and quick. Like, Decrepify was the only thing that saved Fade from that rotation of the ES. These are pretty hard kill lanes, and uh, Winter talked about how EG likes to punish weak lanes. So they see Rubik Nyx as supports. These are incredibly weak support heroes early on. They eventually start to scale up a bit more, but early on they can do this and win multiple lanes. They're actually winning all three lanes at the moment. Bane is absolutely free farming versus two heroes. Rubik actually just leaves. He's like, okay, Siler, that's that's on you, dude. You got to deal with the universe. Legit pick is legit. It's working. Yeah. Well, Yang's having a horrendous time on bottom. He's 6-1 against the 14-3 Drow. Normally, I'm a little bit like iffy about having a Dro Ranger in an off lane, mainly because you need to have two, sometimes three heroes to protect her, which is the worst case scenario for a Dro. Like, you want her quick level six, but he's getting so much CS on and this bottom lane that it may not really matter. And they lack damage. That's the thing. It's, you know, Rubik, Nyx, and Pugna. Pugna's damage, and so is Rubik once they get some levels in the Fate Bolt, but they block the pull, so there's no pullback for Vichy Thunder, and the lane is always in advantage for EG, where it's pushing up, because Pugna has to blast to try to get CS. So it comes back to the tower, and that's where is able to free farm higher levels of Precision Aura to allow Sumail to keep that dominance in the mid lane. Oh, Fade. You could do this when you're an ES going for the runes, but... Like, when you're a Nyx Assassin, no. That, that's not gonna happen. Siler's out of mana. Dude, Siler's getting <laughs> destroyed. He's 7 and 0 on Weaver to 20 and 13 on the Bane. Yeah. This, this lane is real. <laughs> you kind of joked about it when we're talking about like the universe base. Like, yeah, he's only doing it just to win MMR in pubs, but obviously it's it's a sound reasoning to What's... do what he's doing. A level 3 brain sap, and Siler can't do jack. I mean, he's played a couple times, it's just, it, they identified the weakness coming out from damage oh. early from Thunder. Crit, Crit broke the smoke. smoke. Yeah. So, Samael with a double fissure. Jakiro, Fear is gonna TP into this one, able to hit the dual breath, hitting both Fade as well as Io, and the Liquid Fire Burn into the Soul Assumption. Not any chance of survival for the Rubik. 
Siler had to go back to base. So Universe level, about to be level 6, and Weaver is level 3. This might be a very quick early night if their VG Thunder cannot change the tempo of this game. They need to try to salvage something. I don't really know how they can because the Rubik and Nyx are just not good roaming supports. They pretty much have to... Uh, they're probably gonna have to like four man bring like one of the core heroes to gank with for another core hero at this point because it's extremely difficult lanes need to be changed that's for sure and mm -hmm. they do that yang goes top but he's gonna get bullied heavily by universe anyway universe has phase boots with he has 100 damage already 110 damage on this bane and he has fiends grip ready yeah, i'm, I'm kind of waiting for his nightmare dodge from from blast and such he's like, just gonna fiends grip the guy in a second and kill him if i mean that's why fades here that's why fades there yeah well does he go for it there's no help around there. In fact, all the help's in mid where the Fidge is going to connect. The Familiars dropping down one after the other. And Necrophos, he's already burned his Ghost Shroud. They'll move in underneath the tower. And now, perfect Ice Path control. Top, Top lane. lane is bouncing around. They're going after Universe. He's got seven stick charges available and he cannot get it off. It's the Fade Bolt kill securing from the Rubik. Exactly what we said would happen. He tried to go for the Fiend's Grip solo kill. Fade was there in position. So, good clean rotation coming out from... It. Io and Fade at least to get themselves a kill on the board, but the lanes are still quite a blunder for sure. Yeah, because of the way the lanes have changed up too, like Arteezy now gets that space he's looking for in the bottom lane. Supports rotating down in the form of crit. Yep, he's getting solo experience on Drow Ranger now. Yep. If that level 6 arrives, like, it's already been hard enough up on the top lane. They're all walking around with 11 bonus damage. You want to rack up an extra 40 points of agility into the Drow Ranger? The damage situations can become more than problematic. Mm -hmm. But Thunder do have a lot of sustain, at least. Like, uh, like from the Necrophos, the Nyx Assassin's got a good high base regeneration. Sure. Once Pugna can hit level 6, he's got a lot more to work with, too. Weaver's got time lapse. You've but then got Null Field if Rubik can actually get some levels. But like, their team there's fight, things to work with. Their team fight isn't great on the side of Ichi. Like, just matching up versus EG's team fight when they're online, it's really on Yang getting chased yeah. out. Universe oh, showing no mercy, but in. support. Yep. They're gonna body block him slightly, but a first stun into a Telekis grab, and there's Yang with a drain. Almost the damage onto the Bane, but it's not enough. The Brain Steps letting him live with the one charges. One more attack, Yang's gonna fall. Fear is there at the right place. Crit, the Fissure, it'll connect on the Rubik. One more attack, okay, well, Nightmare will do it, and Universe will get the double kill. Don't know if that was essential, because now Fade runs up towards the lane. He'll avoid taking the aggro from the creep wave. Oh, the ice path almost clips him there. That was really close, actually. And now, uh-oh, Kama makes his way toward top, but Sumail's there with Ernit the medallion, throws the soul assumption. He's got the bird stuns to follow up. They've got, they've got crit. No uh, fissure, He doesn't have He's short a little bit. There goes the side, but Sumail can easily tank that, and he'll take the extra charge into the soul assumption for damage. But they've got that bonus damage now. It's plus 23 for everybody. The Draw Ranger hit level 6. Oh god. This is, you know, we haven't seen Draw Ranger in a long time, but this is the absolute dream start for a Draw Ranger lineup with three ranged cores. Mm. They need to just keep continuing trying to making these like three man rotations. I think they have to bring Yang into this into the smokes every single time cuz he's their only damage uh, at the moment with the Pugna. Coin. They have to try to make sure that Siler can recover somehow, but Here yeah, all the lanes are all the lanes are pretty disastrous at the moment. Three men smoke up, they'll group up with Siler. Crit gonna walk into it, picked up, throwing down, and drain dry. But that's the smoke break, and what you're gonna lose is an Earth Shaker. Yeah, Rubik takes the kill there. That was a bit surprising. Siler really wanted to get the last hit, Shikuching over. You sure that's not Yapsol? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that Universe is on the bottom lane, the lane where they actually want to fight Universe, do you... He's got Fiend's Grip available. He'll have to tank the Creep Wave. Instead, he just goes with a quick Brain Sap and forces out the time lapse from Sylar. Doesn't need to rush it. He can just stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of the heroes on the side of Thunder with his... I mean, he's 1,200 HP Bane. Level 8. They go for a smoke now. They're going to be setting up for a gank. That CS is ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's quite a quite an advantage for EG for sure. 54-52-49. The three yeah. cores of EG, like, they are so far ahead of Thunder. They're and smoking into the jungle. They get eyes on Yang here. They're going for the setup. Fiend's grip with the, with the Fissure. They're able to close the gap. 
He's almost at the point where he can brain tap him down, but okay, they pull out. Yeah, they They'll leave the Observe one behind, but TP support's coming in. This one, they didn't want to hang around. The perfect time to disengage. Don't go full duration. Fade needs to hit this impulse stun. The Familiar's coming in. Oh, there's only one stun worth of the Familiar, but they've got the damage output of the other one, who's freshly up from the ground. Nightmare keeping Pugna around this fight. The Fissure holds him there into the Soul Assumption. Pugna will drop. It's almost like EG went for the failed gank to bait VGJ to <laughs> come in to fight them, in. and now they're actually going to get a double kill for Samael, and Sila, all he can do is watch his teammates die. Yep. And during that, Arteezy is farming by himself, and he just pops Drowara. That's all he needs to commit in these fights. Pop Drowara, so Visage does, the Visage birds do an immense amount of damage. It's working. Yep. Fear goes top. He's farming... He's, he's been there Necro. for the last like two, three minutes. Yeah, he's like. just farming now. The team doesn't need him. I, they can just play around Sumail, and Sumail is pretty much unkillable right now unless Vici catches him with like three or four heroes and all of his Gravekeeper's clubs go down. Sumail's actually got the Midas up before he'd normally have it as an Invoker. That's a, that's a ten and a half minute inv Midas flying on the Courier. And he picked up Medallion as well as Magic Wand. He's about to be level 10, so he's waiting for the Midas usage probably for that experienced talent. I actually used it first before uh, grabbing the talent. This man waits so for no one. He, oh, he goes for the GPM. Yeah, yep. I mean that's that sounds like, that seems a like typical Sumail anyway. <laughs> needs needs the extra cash to afford the Academy Scepter a little bit earlier, or <laughs> just finishing up the full Solar Crest. I mean, ninety it's ninety GPM is pretty significant. I mean, Visage has those both those talents are quite nice at level ten. Atiz is trying to force the bottom lane. Also known too, like Mask of Madness build. He's got the casual band of Elves skin. A little bit of extra agility just to help out. Plus thirty eight damage is what he's currently giving out. Mm-hmm. Kurt wants this kill. He's holding around waiting for the perfect fissure. Teen's grip onto Siler. Oh, the, the double stun from Fade will create some space. He's got Spike Carapace available, but these familiars need to do... Oh, oh my oh. god. Woo! Oh, burn, baby, burn. Bane doesn't even go down. Wand, then into the brain sap, gets most of his life back. The scythe's gonna fail. Crit's already moved back over with the familiar. One drop, two drop, and then Soul Assumption. Shroud does not protect you from that when the Visage is ready to blast his level two Soul Assumption out. They're all so tanky on the side of EG. The Gravekeeper's Cloak, plus, I mean, universe having level 9 with phase drum almost in a second plus brain, brain step and those wand charges and again drow aura was up so rtz even though he's not in the fights he's committing to the fights just clicking precision aura yang has finally found Jakiro. he's gonna drain him but he's gone yep fear was hiding in the tree line for the last 30 seconds on the top while while yang was just doing nothing but searching for him rtz taking bottom tower now well, what a surprise. Oh, Everyone boy. moves around to deal with the mass aggression in the mid, and then RTC takes the tower. It's, it's a disaster going again? already. 6k lead, and now mid lane. Nightmare, Fissure, Brain Sap, Familiars. Okay, and Samal didn't even need to burn the soul assumption then. Might as well. He's got 2.2k gold. I'm wondering if he bypasses Solar Crest and just goes for Ags. They Nightmare onto the Rubik. Familiar's coming in. They've got their stuns available. They're starting off with the damage, however, now into stun one, stun two. Necro control for the moment. Universe low on mana, but that's what Magic Wand is for, and that's what the rest of his teammates are there for. Another Nightmare into the Ice Pump. Necro will break free. The Echo Slam perfect from Crit. This is a slamming from EEG. 14 to 2, 13 minutes in. I think we're gonna have an early night, Toby. It really does feel that way, and this is this is even better for evil geniuses. Like you quoted you quoted me yesterday when we were talking about like like uh, my thoughts about this tournament with evil geniuses, and I'm like, how long is it gonna be before this team can just click? And this lineup, this is a click. Yep, they've got a really good draft going for themselves, and this is the, it's the dream as a draw ranger. It's 13 minutes, there are 10k gold advantage. Sumail is godlike. Yeah, look at the net worth of Sumail as well. If we want to switch yeah. that on our little side menu, he's up at 7.9k net worth on Sumail to the 6k of the Drow Ranger and 4.9k of Bane. They're the top three by a large margin. Yep, next step, go for the Roche. Oh, he's actually getting, he is going for the Ags. He's going to have it, dude. He's actually, he's a thousand gold away from it. Yep. It's. Whew, all right, how do Vici really get back into this one? Is they wait for the next tournament? <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> it's just cause this, this is elimination. We're going again. Universe Fiends group, familiars bring in damage. Weaver cannot even react to this. He's just trying to finish his Dragon Lance. They get the crit, though. Yeah, they get crit up on top. That's nuts. Yeah. 
Oh, Rubik now has a stolen fissure, and Nyx is... Okay, maybe that's it. I guess Nyx, it's Nick's vendetta. It's his detection into attack. Yeah, they need to pretty much find pickoffs whenever EG split up. But I think what we're going to see happen is EG, they're going to get that Aghanim Scepter on the Visage, and then they're just going to group up. They're going to go for Roche, and once they have the Aegis, they're going to go to finish up the last few towers. And Thunder, they don't have really great D-push. They have Pugna Blast and Rubik Fade Bolt to really push out the waves, which it's reasonably okay, but the fact that they're going to have to commit one of their core heroes to try to do that, and they can just get dove so easily by the familiars, and just the sheer advantage that EG does have at the moment. They spot Kama mid, and Universe they're going to run right at Invisarune. him. He can just walk straight in close. Nightmare up. They can start with the Totem of Crypt. TP support is already on the way. They're wanting the Familiars to be here. The first Fissure holds him there, and they're almost waiting for him to solo, like, actually go for the Ghost Shroud, so he has the protection. The Familiars have enough damage to kill off the Necro, <laughs> even with the Death Pulse. It's a nice stun, however, from Fate. Catching out Crypt once again, by Carapace, locking in the Bane with the Fate Bolt. They end the killing spree, but can they bring down the Visage? With Macro Pyre down, oh, that's a lot there. of damage, but they're draining out the Visage. This is the way to do it. Have EG feed so many kills. Kills over in the early stages. Besides, Familiar drop and under the tower. They've got the is bonus armor. They're actually gonna kill him. Samael is living through this. Silo wants oh him, but Silo's got shit. Thunder <laughs> oh lose God. everything. They tried. They got a participation ribbon, but that's all they really get from that fight. It was a three-man, like three-man impale coming up from the Knicks into a three-man fissure, and then they still can't bring down this visage. The Gravekeeper's Cloak just being absolutely ridiculous, and so Arteezy's like, Hey guys, I'm in the game too, can I come? Can I come get some kills? Let's watch it again. So the Spy Carapace, the Fissure Control, it's wonderfully set up. But look at look at the Familiars on Yang. Look, Yang starts life draining uh, Sumail, and just watch the Familiars <laughs> kill him. He's just dead to Familiars because of the Drow Aura. Oh my goodness, these bird stuns though were absolutely precise by Sumail, including the uh, dual breath by Fear with that damage, and oh, Arteezy getting gust. involved with the Gust. Yep. He's in the game. Don't but, forget about him. Like, I, I know you whispered it at the, like, just before the camera came on us at the beginning. It's like, man, his gust is really good in this game. <laughs> look, yeah. look at the smile on Crit. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, winning feels nice. <laughs> He's like, you think you kill Visage? You don't kill Visage. And now Aghanim's finished. On top of that, Ooh. a full solar crest for Sumail. They're going again right now. Fade sitting around the back lines. He's he pinged at the fact he was there because he lost the aura. That's why Fade's trying to close this distance, remove that bonus damage as the bugs fly forward. But they're not fighting into three familiars. They do not want this thunder. Thunder can't let EG get the Roche. If EG gets the Roche, this game is over. And EG's just going to sit around the pit and force them to stay there. And they don't have... I mean, they can try to fight versus this EG lineup, but we saw what just happened. These three familiars are now oh, out oh, with oh, the yeah. solar crest. Look at the Roche. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, what Roche on? It's, it's still alive. For now. Now it's dead. Yeah. So, Aegis the Immortal onto Samael. And they draw the line. They say, go top, take the last take the last tier one, and continue forward. Artizi's gonna lose his aura once again. Uh-oh, Rubik in trouble. Sumail, Sumail, Sumail has spotted him. My English broke. Fear, though, might be getting caught out here on the side. He's oh, quite alone. That's actually quite nice, too, because the bug's over on Sumail. He doesn't want to come into this fight just yet. Brings the familiars over to help. They want to try and take the gate engagement, if possible, but the nightmare... Nyx Assassin, locked in position, follow up, being script, Silas copying way too much damage, he time lapses back into the engagement, then gets gusted. gusted by Arteezy, as a level 3, that's a long, long, long silence, he cannot do anything, one charges did not give him enough life to survive. Oh my goodness. This game has escalated very quickly. <laughs> I just see Crit ping all three towers on the left side of the map, he's like, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, let's go. Please push this direction. Yeah. Thank you. As Yang tries to get something in return, moves to bottom lane. When it's when it's 18 minutes in and if there's a 14k oh, gold lead, it's, it's it's devastating. Not again. Rubik can at least get a little bit more control. Nice and, vision. Uh, yep, that solar fish is going to work with the scythe. Crits down, 50 seconds to think about what his sins are. There are a lot of them. There's Sumail. 22 sins out from each Evil Genes at the moment. About to become a lot more. Fade chased into the trees while over in the river. The battle is still happening. Fear running away. You already got the kill over on Ayer. Has to get rid of that bug that's on top of him. But that's why Fade jumps in. Vendetta hit his nice. He almost explodes straight after it. However, it's Arteezy. Stands his ground. Fighting underneath the shrines by Karma Stunts will be there. But Samel's got more stunts. He'll finally be fate bolted down. The Aegis Immortal is lost. But Arteezy, he is the Drogue Cannon 
with the double gust at the end of the fight. Necro will fall. 56 seconds on the sideline. That is due to the buyback, which he expected just to be involved in that. Rubik did the same. The only person that wasn't really there was the man taking the tier 1 tower and now pushing the tier 2 tower as well. Yang is the partner on bottom. He's getting some level of money in for Thunder. Oh, and they're going to just go for him though. Crit pings him out. He wants him. Yeah, he's and got he him. he spots him. Bye-bye. Just, just oh, hug. Oh, it actually pushes him. Hold me close. It pushes him the wrong way. Hold me close. <laughs> but he's got no TP. Shit's like that. <laughs> Come at me, bro. This is awesome. Come at me. You want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Try it. Okay, okay. You tried well. It worked. Yeah. And now Ned the Wood Farm. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't, I don't really see a way back in them for this. It's just such a deficit. Even if the game goes later, like, EG's lineup still scales <laughs> super hard. You're 20 minutes in. It's 18k and rising. The net worth advantage for evil geniuses. And the experience is 14,000. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they get the sleep onto Siler here. Do they have the follow-up? They've got the Fiend Scoop as well, and oh, with the damage from the Macro Fire. They've got the follow-up. Fates look at it. This is how I want to help. I, I, I want to be useful. He walked in range of the sentry oh. ward. They'll see him move again. How many more sentries have you got up your sleeve? No more. No dust either. But Fates only got a couple of seconds left on this Vendetta. So they sentry ward down. They're waiting for somebody to come in close. But how do you, how do you fight this? You don't have your Weaver. You don't really have much to work with. And oh, Earthshaker, under the necro. sentry ward, they'll pick him up, side drop quickly. Oh, no! Sleep. He actually gets saved by Universe! The timing is superb! The stuns are chaining! Crip will still kill himself to the nether ward. This Necrofoss on 44 HP gets back up. He wants to burn the shrine, but it means he has to come in closer towards these pavilions. That'll be fine as long as they can stand their ground. Partner, so much damage, but the shrine regeneration's allowing Thunder to stand their ground for now but the gust once more just so much silence inability to use abilities they'll come off the melee racks 21 minutes in the familiars are doing it quite easily faith bolt eg will back up they got what they wanted here at the start those are level those are max level familiars he's level 18 already oh they're in again the nightmare the they familiars the are familiar. coming down they're turning in poor sila he's getting changed on soul assumption ice puff down 44 seconds no sila they may just go in for more and gg, GG for sure. mercy there shall be a white flag on the thunder door what a game from eg yeah it, it was a very good Drow Ranger game, that was a different type of approach. You know, we've seen people trying to deal with like the Pugnas and Necros and picking like heavy magic damage to deal with them, but you can just pick super high physical damage. These heroes have very low armor early on. The Visage pick, really the solid thing for me. And of course the Drow Ranger last, they made it work and they made it look easy. Yeah, you know, we, we were tossing it up as well. When we saw the fourth pick up, I was like, well, why don't you just grab the Marana? Like, like you want to see everything to start with. And then they picked the Visage in the